set up an experiment here. There's uh, four LED bulbs. So these four are together, 30 watts is what should drive them. And um, I've got the inverter that we looked at the last time. This is a 400 watt inverter, kind of a standard type. And then here is a circuit that I made up. It's a um, single transistor. Um, you can see it there. Single transistor, and actually that's just coils of wire. Um, a primary and a secondary. So it's, it's basically like a big transformer. And I wanted to show you the um, comparison between the two. So first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to light these four LEDs using this um, Lynx Jewel Lamp circuit. And you can watch the amp meter. This is off the 12 volt. Okay, so we are drawing one amp. So that's basically 12 watts we're pulling off this battery to light these four LEDs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hook up the inverter. Okay, just the inverter running. The lights aren't switched on. We're pulling um, 130 milliamps just to run the inverter. It's not doing anything. Just the bulbs. We are pulling 4 amps. 4 amps times 12 and a half volts. That's 50 watts. And we don't need to drive these bulbs with 50 watts. It's really overdriving it. Alright, so we are pulling 2.8 amps to light those fluorescents off the LJL. Alright, so I've got 15 watts of LED bulbs. I'm watching the voltage. And it's nice when the voltage stabilizes. Maybe comes up a little bit. If we can put in close to that 750 milliamps with the sun and the wind, this, this can run pretty much continuous. That's what I wanted to show you. Anyway, thank you for watching.